I will show you how you can make the cell shader effect yourself using a post process material. First you need to create a material and give it a name. Open the material and set under material domain post process. Then scroll down and set blendable location to before tone mapping. First you need two scene textures. Set the upper one to post process input 0 and the lower one to diffuse color. Then each color pin goes into a desaturation node. Next, divide the upper value with the lower one. The result pin goes into a clamp node. Below you should create another diffuse color node and multiply its color value by a value of 0.4. Now you can create an if node and set the clamp result pin to A. Set the color value of the lower diffuse color to A greater than B and the result pin of the multiply node to A lesser than B. Next you can create two new scene textures. Set the upper one to post process input 0 and the lower one to scene dev. Now divide the scene dev with a very high value, in this example with 1 million. You need this so that the sky is not displayed in black. Now you have to desaturate the result and finally create an F node. In the A greater than B input you put the color of post process input 0. In the A input you put the result of the desaturation and in the A lesser than B you put the value of the if node below. Set the final result into the massive color. I set B in the first if node to 1 and in the second to 0.4. If you are not satisfied with the result, you can play around with the two B values. To apply the effect, you can now drag a post process volume into the scene. Under the details, you can search for Infinite Extent Unbound and activate it, so that the effect applies to the whole scene. Then under Post Process Material, you can increase the array by 1 and drag your effect into it. And that's it for the video. If it helped you, subscribe and like. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Thanks and bye.